morning. Thank you very much. It worked this time. <laughs> I think this is my favorite camp spot so far. It was so nice. It was dark, quiet, no music. <laughs> really nice area here. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 405 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Good morning Bumblebee. <laughs> We're here in the Fossil Falls campground in the California desert in USA. And we had the best night ever. It was quiet, it was dark, we had a wonderful night sky. It was really peaceful. Yeah, look how cool this place is. It's actually a giant lava field. So these piles of rocks around us, this one and this one, this was all from an eruption from that volcano behind us. So I'm pretty sure it's an extinct volcano, but at one point, all of this around it would have been molten lava, which is now dried into this amazing, beautiful scene around us. It's a bit like the place that we were in, in Mexico, Paracutin, I think it was called Paracutin. And in that one, like two villages had been like, completely engulfed by the lava and there was just this church sticking out of it. It was absolutely beautiful. But you couldn't camp there, but you could camp here in the middle of all this. We've got a spectacular ride coming today. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here and today we're gonna to be making our way through the Death Valley National Park and finishing the day in Las Vegas. Last night we came off of the mountains and into the California desert and we're going to be heading deeper into that and crossing our way over Death Valley to Las Vegas. We'll be passing by some massive sand dunes and we'll be passing through the place where they recorded the hottest air temperature ever on earth. So we have our breakfast for now. Nice granola breakfast donated by Michelle. Thanks Michelle, <laughs> we love you. <laughs> it will be hopefully a quite nice ride. Google Maps says it will take us five hours. It's already 7.30, so we will still pack up everything and then we will hit the road. That's not your line. She's supposed to say better hit the road, let's go. <laughs> better hit the road, let's go. Okay, packed up, ready to go. And uh, it's a miracle our foot pedal is still hanging on. So I don't know if you guys saw the last episode, but when I put the bike on the side stand and it actually fell over the side stand. <laughs> That's really unbelievable. Oh, yeah, broken. This has a giant crack in it where we had it welded in Nicaragua. Crazy, look at that. Just like that, Bumblebee is back in one piece. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's not very... It's not very secure, let's say. So we've put a cable tie around it in case it does fall off, at least so it won't fall into the road. And I'm gonna try and put my foot like at the very, very beginning of it, like here, and just pray that we can make it five hours to Las Vegas, hey? Yeah. The bike is a little bit lighter today. We've, we've drank some water, we've eaten some food. Because when we jumped on it in San Diego, man, it was like probably the heaviest I've ever felt it. So we've got a little bit of a dirt road to get out of here. I'm not going to put my foot on the pedal for this bit. I'm just going to sort of fly it in the air a bit. Yeah, such a nice area here. Such a nice camping area for people. It's beautiful. Oh, I love places like this. Just nice yes. open spaces where you can just camp wherever you want. So, so cool. And there's even a little bit snow on the peaks there of these mountains. Oh, yeah. Right in front of us here, this is basically the, what do they call it? Like the sea of sand, the sea of volcanic sand. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <sighs> it's sandy. <laughs> it's a little bit, a little bit soft. I'm going to stick on this side. Yes, please. Because you can see like by the other side of the road, that's just pure sand right there. Yes. And volcanic sand is like really, really fine. Really fine sand. Okay. 
Look at this mountain view to start the morning. Incredible. Wow, what a cool, cool view. Nice, very nice. Back on tarmac. Yes. And this isn't any tarmac. This is American tarmac. <laughs> nice road, nice landscapes. It's really the perfect place to be motorcycling. Oh, I just in third gear. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Woo. just about to take our turn off onto the 190 that'll take us into Death Valley National Park which is that way but I thought it was super interesting because just up there on this range is the tallest mountain in California so it's called Mount Whitney and I think it's something like 4,300 meters high but that's the crazy thing about Death Valley you've got both snowy peaks and one of the hottest and driest places in the world. So it's really what they call a land of extremes. Cool, here we go. Arriving at the entrance to Death Valley National Park, homeland of the Timbisha Shoshone. Okay. Cool. Beautiful. So we're in the Death Valley National Park, but we've still got a long way to go. We are probably now still at like 4,000 feet, but we are going to be descending all the way down to minus 200 meters above sea level because Death Valley is actually below sea level. So at the moment we have 18 degrees and let's see how it will warm up. Yeah, there it is. All the way down over there. The place where nothing grows. <laughs> <laughs> the driest and hottest place on earth. Exactly. You can see we've got a big descent coming and we just looked on the GPS and it was a road like super, super, super windy going down. Such a beautiful place. Really beautiful. All right, so we ride down then. Let's go. God, it feels like we're driving off the edge of the world. <laughs> wow. Stovepipe Wells General Store. Look at this place. Ah, uh, look here. Stovepipe Wells Ranger Station, elevation, sea level. Ah, <laughs> We've reached zero. Yes, I have to take off all my clothes. Yeah, I think this is the point where the jumpers have got to come off. Yes. So I think we have to do something here. Let's see. Yeah. What do we have to do? Valid interagency annual and lifetime passes also satisfy the entrant fee. Okay. I don't think we need anything. Okay. Oh, here you go. Present annual and lifetime passes at Furnace Creek Visitor Center to receive a dashboard tag. Okay, okay so we've got to go back to Furnace Creek Visitor Center. Oli just went into the visitor center and apparently we don't have to do anything because we have our annual pass and he said it's fine with the motorbike is fine. And yeah, we're ready to go. All vents are open. I'm down to just the base layer and the jacket. So, let's see how hot it's going to get. It's already very, very hot. <laughs> we are officially below sea level now. Minus 27 feet. 
and descending. Yeah, the temperature is 27 degrees at the moment. A little bit chilly, I've opened up every vent, so I've got a lot of airflow at the moment. We are heading now to the place where the hottest temperature ever recorded on Earth was recorded, and that is called Furnace Creek. But can we admire first these beautiful sand dunes? Oh wow, look at that! So these are the Mesquite sand dunes and it's like a mini Sahara in the middle of the US. Look at that. Very pretty. So cool. We just need some camels now. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a stunning area here. Wow. So the Death Valley National Park is the hottest, driest and lowest national park in America. It is 3 million acres of designated wilderness. It's like 3,000 square miles of national park. Yeah, it's absolutely huge. It's a big chunk of wilderness, that's for sure. And actually, we just looked it up and the lowest point is 86 meters below sea level, which is 282 feet below sea level. We're currently sitting at 90 feet below. And that elevation is what contributes to how it recorded the hottest temperature in the world. The dryness of Death Valley can be attributed to all of these around because this valley is surrounded by mountains. And so basically that makes what's called a rain shadow. So all of the water gets deposited all on the mountains around or falls of snow or ice and basically there's not a lot left and that makes these valleys some of the driest valleys in the world. We're just hiding from the sun here. We have reached Furnace Creek. This is the Furnace Creek general store and we found a little bit of shade here because this is where they recorded the hottest air temperature ever recorded on earth. It was 56.7 degrees centigrade. That's 134 Fahrenheit. Now today, okay, it's quite hot, but it's only about 28 degrees today. So right now it's actually quite nice, but apparently this place can get really, really hot. So we're just having some lunch and we've got some beautiful crackers with mayonnaise and beans and cheese. <laughs> It's a bit of a weird combination when I think about it. I say it like it's so normal. Oh yeah, we're just having some crackers with mayonnaise, beans and cheese. It's <laughs> like, what? You know what? It's actually super, super tasty. Yes. And all ingredients donated by Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> we thought we'd have a little bit of a walk around before we left Furnace Creek. So here's the general store. Everything's really kind of vintage. Yeah. Look at the sign. And this building here, wow. Is it like... Is it painted? It's like painted, yes. Yeah. Cool. It says this building was constructed in 1883. The oldest house in Death Valley. Wow, actually the building was built uh, in a different town. And then in 1954 it was moved here. Let's see if we can go inside. Apparently not. Here's like a whole load of memorabilia. Yeah, I think it's a train engine. It's like written on there, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Yeah, here is an old plow that would have been attached to the back of a horse. Horses, so cool, hey? Some wagons. Wow, can you imagine those guys back in the 1800s trying to like come through here? It's long enough going on the main road at like 60, 70 miles an hour. And here is a big old steam train. So cool. Wow, this is a steam tractor. Because I think here was a mine originally. And so these would have been used to haul out the ore, the rock that they took away from the mine. And it's on a steam powered tractor. I've never seen a steam powered tractor before in my life. This was a wagon train that would have been pulled by 20 mules, apparently. Wow. From 1885. And the entire weight that would have been on there would have been 36 tons. And they had to haul it 165 miles to Mojave. 10 days, 165 miles. 
Wow, those were some crazy days, hey? It makes what we're doing look really easy, doesn't it? Yes. I mean, look at this. Wow. Wow. What an amazing look back into US history. That's so cool. I just think the US in the 1800s, everything's so charming. The buildings, the machinery. Anyway, we got to hit the road because we got to get to Vegas. We got to get there in time for our wedding. Yeah. <laughs> or should we miss it? <laughs> Sweetheart. We still got about 120 miles more to go. Let's better hurry up, eh? Yeah, I think we can check into the hotel at like two o'clock, so we don't want to get too much past that. My parents have booked us the Mirage. Thank you so much, Jill and Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Not a minute to waste. It's time to get to Vegas, hey? Yes. And uh, we've put an extra cable tie on the foot pedal because it was starting to kind of get really, really loose and falling down, basically. And you know what? It actually feels much, much better already. Okay. So. Hopefully I can put some weight on that. Yeah. Five minutes later. My foot pedal has totally fallen down. I'm basically hovering my foot now. It's like 117 miles still to go to get to Vegas. Just over two hours to ride. So let's see if I can hover my foot for the next two hours. I tried to kind of rest it on the clutch pedal, but I accidentally geared down to fifth gear. I can just about get my heel in here and sort of rest that on some part of the bike. I think it's on the bash plate or something. So I'll have to just leave it like that and uh, hope for the best. Two hours to Vegas, let's go. I just saw a sign back there that we have officially entered our second state in the US, Nevada. So this is our first town in Nevada. I think it's called Parihua. Looks like an awesome place to live. Of like snowy mountains in the front, Snow. then nice rocky mountains to the left. Yeah. And more rocky mountains to the right. <laughs> no way. We can just about see in the distance down in the valley all of the big mega casinos of the strip of Las Vegas. <laughs> I actually can't believe it that we made it in time. It's crazy though. No? Super I mean, crazy. We set this date to get here back when we were in Panama. And then we basically had to go six weeks solidly and make it here in time with so much of the bike braking being fixed, crossing <laughs> borders. It was really full on six weeks for sure. It was, and I cannot believe it as well. I cannot believe that we're here in time on schedule. Six years ago when we both met, we said, okay, if we get married, we will get married in Las Vegas. And look at us, we are here. <laughs> yeah, you realize that in 22 miles, we're in Las Vegas then you have no excuse anymore. <laughs> You're gonna have to follow through with it. We're gonna have to get married if we well, make it. We are not there just yet. <laughs> You're right, shall I just run us off the road now? <laughs> Let's turn around. <laughs> oh my God. I was sure we would never be able to make it here. I thought something was gonna break and things did break, but they got fixed. And now we are only 22 miles from Las Vegas. That's insane. Well, here we go, coming down into the center of Las Vegas and look at all these crazy buildings up ahead. Look, here's the Four Seasons Hotel. Look at the size of that sign. Whoa. Wow. Las Vegas 
means the meadows in Spanish uh, because I guess when they first came here this place was just a beautiful valley of meadows and now it's a valley of casinos <laughs> look there's one that looks like a castle over there oh and look the blue man group are playing over there have you ever seen the blue man group yes not live but you showed me them oh they're so funny they're all blue yeah yeah and they play like these uh, pvc pipes boom, 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 boom. yeah that's cool that's crazy wow yeah it's like packed it's just wow packed with like really funny buildings here hey? yeah yeah exactly mm -hmm. there's no such thing as like like specific planning permission requirements here it's just like <laughs> do whatever you like yes wow that's a crazy crazy place i can't believe the scale of these buildings wow so we've got three miles to get to the mirage look that one is like a fairy tale castle yeah one there. wow nice look at that hey las vegas we are here <laughs> wow, i've never seen anything like this in my life look there's the trump tower and then you've got like treasure casino treasure island casino and look our one has a giant mural of the beatles because actually the resident show there is cirque du soleil meets the beatles apparently well, actually i think we're going to go and see that as well our last ride to las vegas eh? and we're riding out as a married couple oh no <laughs> No. I mean, yeah, cool. <laughs> I have to tick a different box now when I do the, you know, never married, single. There's exactly. never been a box for like, oh, I have a girlfriend. It's always like single or yeah. married. Yeah, I know. Chained. <laughs> Chained. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Coming into the mirage. Woohoo! Look at that scenery. Beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at all these palm trees. Oh, got some bumps. Hold on. Oh, oh. Oh, double bump. Wow. Wow, that's a motorbike killer. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. okay. Let's find out what's going on. <laughs> no idea what's going on. Drop, drop off. off. I guess we'll be at drop off because we're kind of dropping off our stuff. So I I'm just so. going to, yeah, I'm going to stop at drop off here. Okay. This is the drop off lane. And this is the entrance. Okay. Hi. Uh, yeah, checking in. Okay, so Lavi is just up in the room organizing things and getting our footage loaded, but I thought I'd come down and show you guys this crazy atrium. Look! We are actually inside the Mirage Hotel right now, and there's like waterfalls and like a whole, I don't know, tropical forest. It's absolutely crazy here. And our room is on the 19th floor. It's just a mad place. Look in front. So apparently there's like, as well as this massive casino, there's like 10 bars and like, I don't know, 15 restaurants. It's like a whole city down here. We got like a million slot machines. <sighs> Mad, madness. Notice that Lavi sent me down without the wallet. She said she'll give me $20 to spend and that's all. Hey, that didn't wait no time, that didn't. No. And then basically, from this central point, you've got like three wings. There's like one that heads off that way, that way, and that way, and that just goes up and up and up and up and up. And we're on the 19th floor here. The scale of this place is just crazy. It was really hard to get all our bags up here. We had to go in like two trips. 1909. Woo! There we go, look at that. Woo! Look at this paradise room. <laughs> These two double beds are not all for us, so um, one of my siblings will be staying in here as well. Yeah, and I prepared our office here already. There we go. Because the work is not ending, hey? <laughs> but take a look at the view out of the front of this room. 
I mean, that's just mad, right? We can see so many hotels. We can see Madame Two Swords. We can see like a giant, like London Eye. Yeah, it looks like a lot of stuff is going on here for sure. <laughs> And we're getting married soon! Yes! <laughs> we've made it, we're here in Vegas. It's the end of a long, long, long journey. And we had to be here today and we got here today, so crazy. <laughs> so that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time as a married couple! <laughs>